You know, I'm reminded back of Christmas many, many, many years ago, boy, the kids were that high, you know? And man, I was in the peanut business and I was selling all kinds of stuff at the flea market. Rolling in dough, man. I mean, I had plenty of money. And, oh God. Well, as long as you you might as well hear my story. You interrupted the story. You interrupted the storyteller. Good. So get in here and listen. <laughs> Thank you. No. Hey, I saw I was nice to you. Anyway, anyway, anything. Anyway, I was rolling the money, man. I was selling peanuts. And it was a few days before Christmas. And I ain't bought nothing for the family, nothing. You know, I just didn't have, I just wasn't ready. So I took all that money I made, boy, and I, I bought Michael's damn uh, uh, Nintendo shit. He played all the time, you know, and bought some games. And, let me see, I bought, I bought Charlie. I, I, that was the year I bought him the guitar. Bought him a nice guitar. I mean, because he wanted to learn how to play. I think he, well, anyway. Bought Jennifer, got her a bunch of Barbie dolls and stuff, you know, and a bunch of dresses. And Kimberly was into makeup, so I bought her a, I went and I bought her a damn $400 thing full of makeup. I mean, there was so much makeup in that kit, she was ready for the night. Um, so... This sounds like it should have been like our best Christmas ever. It wasn't our best Christmas ever. It wasn't our best... Wait, can I get my story? Yes, I'm just saying. I never got none of this shit. Get, let me finish my story. Okay, go ahead. So, well, I, Tina and I, man, we wrapped all the presents, you know, we had them under the tree, and well, we lived in a bad trailer park, but I said, you know, let's, let's go out and eat, cause we, so I had some extra money, so we went and eat Chinese. Man, we got there in that Chinese place bowl and filled up, and come home, and I noticed the damn front door was open. I said, what the hell, Tina, didn't you shut the door? She said, yeah, I locked it too. So, we came in. The damn tree was like turned over everywhere. All the presents were gone. Well, we were gone. So that bastard come in and stole every one of our presents. So, so the, the Nintendo, the guitar, the dolls, the makeup. I mean, that rat bastard took it all. Right into the damn tree. Didn't he take the TV too? To the TV, to the stereo, and I'm telling this story. Okay. I'll stop. So there we were, Christmas morning. Christmas Eve, all the presents were gone. I didn't know what to do. I looked at my wallet. I had twenty dollars. So what they get for Christmas? Five dollars. Gave Michael five dollars. Gave Charlie five dollars. Gave Jennifer five dollars. And gave Kimberly five dollars. And that's all I could get them for Christmas that year. I did not get five dollars for Christmas. You took it back. I had to have cigarettes. Yeah. You know what I got for Christmas that year? A two dollar food stamp oh, boom. and a nutty bar. Oh. Well, back then the food stamps were in bills, but yeah, I got a two dollar food stamp and a nutty bar. Well, at least you got some five. You got a well, I got the five dollar bill, but I got cigarettes. Yeah, he gave us five dollars. Hey, Mike, give me a five dollar bill. Well, it's out of cigarettes, man. Okay, I'm not faulting you. It was a bad Christmas. And you rat bastard stole my damn stuff. I hope the hell you enjoyed it. I I, I hope you got. You, why you shoot to the tree, you can give them that too. You took everything. You took the guitar. You took the damn Nintendo. I hope the hell you die on it. Yeah. Rat bastard. I hope you're watching me right now, you thief. My kids didn't have a curtain because of you. If I put my hand around your neck, I'd shoot you. Are you still mad about it? I am now. Calm down. Dad. Shit. All right, come I want that rat bastard. Come hey, you thief. Come, come get.